Hi, my name is Clark. I'm an instructor trainer with scuba.com and today we're going to talk about high pressure versus low pressure scuba cylinders. Now scuba diving tanks or cylinders allow the diver to have his or her own source of air while underwater. Scuba tanks are a cylinder container made from steel or aluminum. Scuba tanks hold different amount of air so it's vital to select the right volume scuba tank as different sizes are made for different purposes. Although an aluminum tank may seem the way to go, it's not always the case. Most aluminum tanks have a positive buoyancy factor near the end of the dive. Steel tanks allow the diver to reduce the amount of weight carried. In general, most scuba divers start with the basic aluminum tank because of their price difference. Now there are several scuba cylinder manufacturers and the specifications for their cylinder pressure, dimensions, and capacities are constantly changing. Divers can choose between scuba cylinders manufactured from aluminum or steel. Now, cylinder pressures span a wide range, but the most common pressures are low, from 2400 to 2650 psi's, standard, 3000 psi's, high, 3300 to 3500 psi's, and really high, the 106 cubic foot aluminum hoop wrap tank rated at 4350 psi's. They are available in a huge selection of capacities as a primary dive supply ranging from 50 cubic feet to 130 cubic feet. Now to every diver, how a tank looks is also as important as what type of tank they're buying. And the cylinder coatings fall into three general classifications. It's either painted, it's galvanized, or it's uncoated or unfinished. A cylinder subjected to an average of one fill a day or more is considered a cylinder subjected to high use. A cylinder subjected to high use should be visually inspected both externally and internally a minimum of every six months. Annual visual inspections include the inspection of the threads in the neck of a cylinder. Thread and neck inspections can only be performed with a valve removed from the cylinder and all foreign material, i.e. dirt, corrosion, etc., removed from the o-ring gland and the threads. Thread and neck inspection is performed visually with the aid of a light source and a two times dental mirror and can be supported by the use of an eddy current thread inspecting device. Hydrostatic inspection is required once every five years and is mandated by the Department of Transportation or DOT and must be performed by a sanctioned DOT inspection facility. If you have any questions about high pressure or low pressure cylinders or you're looking to buy one, please give one of our certified instructors a call at 1-800-34-SCUBA and remember, we're here for you.